not the last day of school. The last day of school is Friday. You have a show to do, so let's get on with it. Chop, chop. Wow, she's right. I guess we just got caught up in the end of the year celebration a little early. Hi, you guys. I'm Lauren, and today is not the last day of school. Yeah, I guess we did. Hi, everyone. I'm Everett. Like Lauren said, it is not the last day of school. It's Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. And even though it's not the last day of school, not counting today, there's only one and a half more days of school. Yes! Hi, everyone. I'm Lauren. Is it just me, or is there an echo in here? I mean, I keep hearing it's not the last day of school over and over again. Are you guys hearing that? Okay, since it's not the last day of school, we have a show to do, and it's time to be patriotic. You know what that means. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for the news, and we don't have much for you today, but we'll pass in what information we have. Tomorrow is the 5th and 6th grade instrument night. Go band! Tomorrow is also the 8th grade promotion. Onward to high school! Are you ready for this? The Friday, May 23rd is... The last day of school! Woo! Challenge is for the used uniform sale. You can get some great deals and some slightly worn uniforms on July 14th from 9 to 1. So, this time I'm not going to ask who like Six Flags, the Dallas World Aquarium, or Main Event, because we all do. That's, that's a no-brainer. But would you like to have a chance to sponsor a child this summer so they can go? The LSO, or Legacy Service Organization, will be taking children this summer to all these places. For, and for $85, you could pay for a child to go. Just send a check to Ms. Cross. Be sure to make it out to Lexi or LCA. Hey, don't forget about all the summer camps that will be taking place here at Legacy. That's right. We all love summer, but after a couple of weeks off, well, should I say it? I'll say it for you. We all get kind of bored. <gasps> Did you really just say that summer gets boring? That's what I heard him say. So be sure, wait, but you know it really does. So be sure to check out all these summer camps. There's something for everyone. And that's it for today's news. Time for the student spotlight. And this time we're showcasing the fourth grade field trip to Austin and San Antonio. Tell me again why we're doing this. I can't remember. Well, first because the field trip was so awesome, we want everyone to see it. That way they have something to look forward to in fourth grade. And because we have these amazing pictures sent in by Miss Ellis. And we need something to put in the show. Megan, you didn't have to say that. What? Just roll with it, please. Time for the weather report. And even though it's still spring until June 21st, we might as well be at, it might as well be summer because it's almost summer break. Yay! That's right, Lauren. Technically, it's still spring, but who cares? It's almost summer break, and that's all that matters now. Yay! 
But just in case you're wondering about the weather, we'll fill you in. Our high temps are going to be in the upper 80s. We might hit 90. The lows the lows at night will be in the 60s, really mild. We'll have mostly sunny skies with no chance of rain. Sounds like summer to me. Yay! Time to go surfing, Megan. That's it for the weather. It's time for Bible trivia. That means that it's time to learn something new from God's Word. Ready, all you Bible scholars? Okay. This time is our last Bible trivia for the year. We will we will have a show on Friday, but that will be filled with the end of the year stuff. You won't want to miss that one. That's right. But we still need to give you the answer to the last two questions that Everett gave you last time. He asked, what is the shortest book in the Bible, and what is the longest book in the Bible? Did you know these? The shortest book is 3rd John. It has one chapter and 14 verses and 299 words. And it was written by the Apostle John, of course. And the longest book is Psalms. It has 150 chapters, 2,461 verses, and 43,743 words. Whew, that's a lot of words. As we said, no more Bible trivia for the rest of the for through the rest of the year, so that means no more questions. But it doesn't mean you can stop reading your Bible. Yeah, keep it up over the summer, so we'll be ready for next year. And, and that's, that's it for Bible Trivia. Okay, that's our show for today, but remember we have a special show on Friday. Be sure to tune in and watch our last show for the 2013 to 2014 school year. We'll reflect, oh. We will reflect on some of the fun things that happened this year, and we will be taking, talking to our audience about their favorite things and what they be doing this summer. You may see yourself in the show, so don't miss it. Okay, so I served 134 weights, and I got stung by a jellyfish. Do you want to see it? Um, not really. Shout out to all my friends that I said last time, and Davis. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Gracie, Kennedy, and Olivia, and Roberto, the ice cream man. Shout out to all my previous teachers in the last year.